You read about things, you see things on TV, but seeing it right in front of you and hearing those stories, it really, really makes people realize this is actually happening and I can do small things that really make big impacts. I came to Charleston specifically to work at the South Carolina Aquarium. I visited the aquarium back in college and obviously fell in love with the Sea Turtle Rescue Program. So we are the only sea turtle hospital in South Carolina, so we are intaking um, every sea turtle that strands in South Carolina, um, whether it be uh, all the way down in Hilton Head or all the way up in Myrtle Beach. We partner with South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, so they're the one that actually gets the call of a stranded sea turtle. During all the intake, I'm there and pulling up medication, preparing for surgery, helping run blood, all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, turtles' biggest risk is humans. Everyday boat strikes is our, usually our largest um, stranding factor for sea turtles. Once they arrive, it's almost just like an emergency room for animals. So we triage these guys, whether that be uh, radiographs, CTs, fluids, antibiotics, all kinds of supportive care, surgery, and then they rehabilitate here for as long as they need. Our ultimate goal is to get them back into the ocean and released to contribute back to their population. You kind of have some stories or patients that stick with you. It's really, really cool to see them come so far in such a short time.